Hi everyone, it's Miss Jen with the Community Arts Center. We are ready to go live with mouse paint. Um, oh, I can see everybody now. Good morning. We're going to wait just a couple minutes to let people join in. And I'll probably do this whole introduction again in just a few minutes. We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. Oh, Art Kitty's here. Art Kitty likes to drink my paint water. Hi, Sherry. Nice to have you here. Look, Art Kitty's drinking the paint water. Ha ha! Art Kitty isn't a real people person. So, I'll pet her. She puts up with it because she likes to drink my paint water. Is that silly or what? <sighs> I wonder if she'll let me do paw print painting when we get to actually getting our fingers in the paint. She'll run away. Er, kitty. Her, her name really is Socrates because, oh, she does not like to be held. Look, she has white socks on her feet. Okay, I'll come back up now that, now that I've scared my cat away with affection. <sighs> Kitty kitties, you just never know about them. I'm ready to get started. Oh, hey, Jackson and Lil E. Everett, you guys are on. I'm so happy. Some of my favorite guys. Jax, Jax, Jax. Jackson is going Jen, Jen, Jen. I miss seeing you guys on Sundays. Sometime soon, I'll get big hugs from ever and Jackson will ignore me because that's how we do life oh this is gonna be so much fun all right let's see I'm gonna look on my kitty bunny watch there's like which do you think it is is it a kitty or is it a bunny I don't know oh Jackson says I love you Jen I love you too buddy it is 11.01. I'm going to wait until 11.05 to start. And I just realized I have something I need to do. Um, so I have everything ready for you guys. So I'm going to zip away from my deck. My whatever this is. Desk. Miss Jen can't talk right. Oh my goodness. I got up for, what was I gone, like one minute? She took over my chair. And then she growled at me for picking her up. Oh my goodness. Okay, so for you big people watching, let's see if I can bring it up. I just finished that globe lamp last night. I've had that globe for years and um, wanted to make a lamp out of it. And um, in redoing Bryce's room, he wanted a lamp out of a globe. So I decided to finish this one so I could figure out how to do it. And now I'm working on one for his. My big issue is 
all you see is ocean from my desk and I can't get it to turn so I painted all the continents red outlined them in gold and then put um, little holes all through it so that when it's dark the light sparkles out let's see if this works yeah you can see all the little lights sparkling <sighs> one of my favorite new toys all right it's only been two minutes since I said <laughs> I am in an especially goofy mood today it's a good thing this is a preschool class because it's the way it is gonna be today and uh, so yeah if Kate and Angela my co-workers at the Art Center if if they join in this video I'll probably have to get all serious um, no I won't they know me okay I can't wait any longer I'm ready to get started like this is driving me nuts all right now we might have some technical difficulties and phone wobbling around because if I tilt my phone then I get a message that Facebook doesn't want me to change the aspect of my phone. Oh, there's Angela. <sighs> now I have to be serious because my boss is watching. <sighs> Ooh, Stella's here. Good morning, Stella. I'm glad you're here with us. So this class is wrapped around the video that Miss Ann read, um, Young Hearts Books up in Westmont. If you don't live in Westmont, it's worth your time when restrictions are lifted to go see um, Miss Ann's bookstore because it's amazing. In the meantime, she is a fabulous um, reader and she's created some really awesome videos for us. So, the book this week is one that I asked her to do and it's called Mouse Paint. And I'm going to retell the story of mouse paint using glasses of water. So I'm going to bring my phone down as far as I can. And oh, Art Kitty's back. She's like photobombing like crazy today. Usually she ignores me. Wow. Okay, I'm going to try and bring the phone down a little bit. And then lower and lower it goes hmm now you can't see it needs to be up high I had this all planned out I've done this before there we go now you can see the glasses so I have these cool glasses with water in it. Let's see, the cat drank out of that one. I'll drink out of this one. Mm. Just plain water. One minute, I need to get my computer going on the live event so that I can see what you guys are doing. And of course, my computer does not want to cooperate right now. Here we go. Now it's moving. Do you guys ever have times when your computer or your um, tablet doesn't want to do what you want it to do. Oh my goodness. That happens to me. Now I've got to find, oh, here we are. There's a slide. Okay. Now I can see what you guys are posting easier than what's on my phone. All right, so in 
the book Mouse Paint, there are um, three mice. One, two, three. And they're white mice. And the gray cat is chasing them. Mm -hmm. And one day, they found three jars of paint. They found a blue one. Boop. And I'm going to use a paintbrush to stir it with. They found blue paint. They found red paint. Oh, and they found yellow paint. And you know what? I just realized I forgot something. I forgot milk going to put milk in this just a little splash to turn it white so you can really see the colors this takes the water from translucent which means you can see through it to opaque which means you can't see through it now we can see the colors a lot better. And you know what else I can see? I need more red. Drop, 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 drop. We'll put in some more drops. So, one mouse crawled into the blue paint, another mouse crawled into the red paint and the third mouse crawled into the yellow paint and they got all painted up and when they got out of the paint jars they made puddles of paint on the ground well the mouse that was in the blue paint jumped into the red paint. And what happened? Oh, it turned purple. Next, the mouse that was in the red paint got into the yellow paint <gasps> and the paint turned orange. Then the mouse that was in the yellow puddle jumped into the blue. Does anybody know what color? <gasps> it turned green. But the only problem that the mice had when they got into all of these beautiful colors was that they weren't white anymore and the mouse could see the, or the the cat could see them easier so they took a bath and do you know where they took a bath they took it in the cat's water dish of all things can you believe that oh that's so silly so that's the story of mouse paint it's been a favorite story of mine for a long, long time. So let's go over what we learned. We learned that when you take red and blue, 
mix them together, you get purple. When you take red and yellow, you get orange. And when you take blue and yellow, you get green. So these colors are called primary colors. They're first. Prime means first. You can't mix any colors to get red, blue, or yellow because they're primary. These colors are called secondary. Practice saying secondary if you're four or five. I'll bet you you can do it. Secondary colors are come from mixing two primary colors. Now, Here's something some of your teachers have probably said. If you mix too many colors together, it gets ugly. So, I have a container here that is white so we can see what color we get. Oh, those were stuck together. We see what colors we get when we mix too many colors together. And let me tell you, it's not pretty. Let's try blue. Hmm. Maybe next we'll put in some orange. Whoa. Hmm. Can we fix that? Let's put some yellow in. That'll make it pretty not a bad color of green. Let's put some green in. <gasps> Look how pretty we're getting to be a pretty color of green. Uh-oh. Now we have red and purple. This is not going to end well, boys and girls. Let's go. Whoa. Ew. It looks like a mud puddle, doesn't it? Blech. So we have to be careful what colors we mix together. Now I'm going to make a color wheel for you. Let's see. So we're putting colors in a circle. And artists use color wheels all the time. So, if you're mixing colors and the colors are next to each other, it looks really pretty. If you're mixing colors and you go across the color wheel, it looks really ugly. So, if we mix purple and yellow, blah. But if we mix purple and red, it's just a different color of purple. And it looks really nice. Now, if we're not mixing colors, then colors that are across the color wheel from each other look really pretty together. So if you're doing some crayon work in a coloring book, look how pretty that blue and orange looks together. And think about Christmas, how pretty red and green look. They look really nice together, but we don't want to mix them together. And violas, viol, violets, violas are my favorite flowers, even though I can't say the name right now. And they are purple and yellow. Look how pretty those colors are together as long as they're not trying to mix. So that is how we mix paint. Now I'm going to take my bucket and I'm going to dump all of these into my bucket. I always have a bucket to, for my used water. And it always looks this ugly. And there's tape floating in it. Oh my goodness. All right. Are you guys ready 
to do something instead of just watching me. I'm ready to do something. We are going to do neat mixing. Give me just a minute to get... Oh, there. Now, for our next project that we're going to do, you're going to need a Ziploc bag. And open it up. And then, if you're really young, mommies or daddies might need to help with this. We are going to put two paint in here. Two paint? Mmm, grammar, good. Words hard. Um, <laughs> two colors of paint inside the Ziploc bag. Um, I don't know. Should I use... I want green because the grass is starting to turn green and the trees are starting to turn green because it is spring. So we learned that blue and yellow make green. Now I got these paints at Dollar Tree and um, they are washable paints, but we're gonna use these um, inside the Ziploc bag it's a no mess way to practice mis mixing paint. So I'm just gonna put a glob over there, about a tablespoon to the big people. And I'm gonna put a little more yellow because blue is such a strong color. If I don't put more yellow, then it will end up being a really dark green. And I want this to be more of a bright springy green. Are you guys all really happy that spring is here and hopefully we'll get to have some warm weather soon? I am ready for that. All right, I'm gonna take this board off that I put on so that you could see better, but it has lines in it that will make it hard for me to do this project. Okay, you know what? I'm just doing this so that you can see better. There, now I've got a paper towel under. Now, just take your fingers and start mixing them. And parents, if, if they're having trouble getting the paint mixed, you can put just a little bit of water on the top so your fingers can slide a little easier. You can also tape down the bag so it doesn't want to shift and move. But just have some fun. And mix some paint. Carol is here with us today and so is Jody. I'm glad you guys joined us. Hi, Carol and Jody. Denise Urban is with us too. Good morning, Denise. I have a lot of big people friend that are friends that are joining today. Now, if you have an emerging writer that needs to practice writing their names, this is a great way to do that. You guys would be backwards, but I can make a J for Miss Jen. I can make an A for art. So there's all kinds of things you can do for fine motor skills. You can give them a craft stick or a pencil and use the eraser so that they start working on their pencil grip while they're mixing paint. Be thoughtful of things that young ones can learn even when they're doing something fun and playing. Sneak it in on them. So this, I have used this with preschoolers for a couple decades now. Um, I had one class of three-year-olds that were, um, whoo, 
yeah they they were craziness and when we did this I put a Ziploc bag inside another Ziploc bag because I knew those kids <laughs> would be poking holes in it um, and getting paint everywhere and the idea for this is it's a painting project that they can do when you don't want them to make a mess and once these are dry um, which they unless you open them up when the kids aren't playing with them they won't dry um, but you can dry them and then tape them to the windowsill and it's really cool art um, yeah but limit it limit it to two primary colors because even though kids like to play and play and play and play with color, once it turns into mud, they lose interest because it's no longer pleasing. And they might not be able to process that, but there it is. Okay, kids, I'm back. I'm done talking to your parents, and I'm back hanging out with you. All right. Are you ready for me to show you another fun trick? This one... I'm going to tell you, I've never done it before. And so we're going to do this for the first time together, and we'll see if it works. For this, I'm using a bowl. And I'm going to use my three colors of food coloring, red, blue, and yellow, because those are primary colors. In this bowl, I am going to pour about two inches of milk. There we go. Oh, I can tell from my bowl that my desk is not level. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I forgot my dish soap, boys and girls. I'm breaking the cardinal rule of teaching preschoolers, and I'm not prepared. Wait right here. I'll be right back. got the dish soap. You can't do this without dish soap. Okay, so first we're going to drop colors on the milk. Drip, drip. Mm, there's blue. Oh, Chris Laporte is here. Hi, Chris. And <gasps> Ashley, hi. I'm glad you're here. You need to tell me your kids' names. If you guys have kids here, um, put their names on so that I can talk to them. All right, so now I've got blue and yellow, and I'm going to put red on. And look what's happening. This color is floating on top of the milk. The milk has fat in it. And so the, the food coloring just hangs out on top. But when we bring the dish soap in, oh my gosh, the fat goes away from it and the colors well let's just see what happens I just put some of that on a stir stick what just happened did you see that let's put another drop over here here we go and 
It all wants to hang out over here at the side. Let's see if we put some on the side, if it'll push it back to the middle. This is so cool. I'm sorry, let me go back into preschool teacher mode. Boys and girls, look how interesting this is. But the child in me is going, oh, this is cool. Okay, now I'm going to move that color. Oh, look how dark that is. There's black in here now for mixing all of these dark colors together. Oh, I could do this for hours. Hi, Renee. Thanks for joining us. And thanks for bringing Lucas with you. We are playing with surface tension. This is just milk and food coloring and a little bit of dish soap. Oh, I think we need some more dish soap. Oh, I have bubbles flying around in here. Oh, this is fun. So, sometimes you can ask your parents if you can have fun with milk, food coloring, and dish soap. But now, we've played with it and played with it, <clears throat> and we're getting that color of mud again, aren't we? But I love watching all of these shapes and swirls and everything that's happening. That is so fun. And now, here comes the bucket again. Ooh, I almost made a big mess there. We're going to put this milk into the bucket. And we're going to put this ugly water into the bucket. All right, you guys ready to see? Ooh, yucky. And that tape is still floating around. All right. Now we'll move this stuff out of the way. I don't have much room on my table behind me. All right, now what's next? <gasps> oh, yes. So this is a color wheel and we I talked about the color wheel with the glasses of water and we talked about how colors that are next to each other look pretty together and how colors that are across from each other when you mix them together turn ugly brown so now we're going to make our own color wheels. So I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to draw a circle on it. And if you need help drawing a circle, get someone to help you, okay? I'm going to use the one that I did in marker so it's brighter for you guys to see. And then on the circle, I want you to make three circles. I'm going to give you just a minute to get this done. So make a big circle and one, two, three circles on it. Oh, and Gino's here now too. Cool. Nice to have you here, Gino. And Ashley's kids are Carson, Aurora, and Alexis. It's nice to have you guys all here. All right. Does everybody have their big circle and little circles? This is where things can get messy. So... I'm going to take my rings off so I don't have to clean them off when I'm done. Nope, not taking that one off. Not taking that one off. All right. So, I want you to take red paint 
and make a little puddle. Big people, that's about a teaspoon on there, but they might need a little more. And now I'll put some yellow on. Remember, these are primary colors. We are going to make a mess and we are going to make secondary colors. All right. So I don't want you to use your whole hand. Make the number three and I want you to tap into the yellow paint Woo and tap into the red paint. And then like you're the little mice playing together, dancing and dancing in the middle until you make green. Now here's the thing, you're gonna have to wipe off your hands because we don't wanna make brown. So wipe your hands off, turn your paper. Now I want you to dance your fingers in the red and yellow and together into the middle of dancey, dancey, dancey. And again, this is some nice fine motor skill practice, isolating three fingers instead of using full hands or all five fingers. So we're increasing uh, developmental use in fine motor skills. All right, wipe your hands off again. Turn your paper. Oh, hey, Renee. Now Evan is with us. So we have Lucas, Gino, and Evan from Renee. How old are your kids? All right. Get those three fingers ready. Dance in the paint. Just like the mice danced in the puddles. And then come together. Dance, dance, dance. I feel like I'm playing the piano. And now we have a color wheel. And it's pretty. So this shape is a circle, or it could be a letter O. And we have yellow, blue, and red, which are primary colors. But then we mixed yellow and blue to make green. And we mixed blue and red to make purple. Purple is one of Angela's favorite colors. Then we made red and yellow to make orange. Orange, green, and purple are secondary colors. All right, now let's just have some fun. Get another piece of paper. Let me move my finger painted color wheel out of the way. Now I just want to have some fun. So I just am going to put some paint on my paper and I'm just going to finger paint and we can talk and have some fun and maybe I'll even sing a song. I'm trying to think of one that has to do with color. Does anybody know a song that I might know about color. If not, um, I'll think of something else. All right. I love getting paint on my hands. When my hands look like this, it's the happiest time of my day because I love gooey. I love paint. 
and I love to play. <gasps> Let's see. I'm going to just rub my hands together. Let's see what colors I got. I have, let me find a good place to put them. That's kind of a green. It's a blue green. There's some purple over here. And I still have yellow right in my palm. I don't have any orange though. Maybe I can make some orange over here. No, it didn't turn orange. It turned ick. All right. Yay. So just have some fun. You could do this with coloring books if you have a coloring book that has some pretty heavy pages. And just see what kind of pretty designs you can come up with. And just enjoy having fun with paint. Now at the Art Center, when we have summer camps, a big part of the day is called experiential art. And that's where we do things with art supplies that are a little crazy and fun, like uh, rolling down a hill through paint onto a big canvas drop cloth, um, putting paint in water balloons and throwing it at targets and sometimes the teachers and, you know. Um, sometimes we roll rolling pins through paint and then onto our cool paper. There's a lot of fun things that we do during camps. And yes, this is a shameless plug for Camp Create Junior. It's Monday through Thursday, 10 to 1. And we're going to start on-site camps at in July. And hopefully we can do some Zoom camps in June. So um, Miss Sydney, who taught... Um, Camp Create Junior last summer is going to be doing some Zoom classes for us. So we're really excited um, to be back together with our friends, <clears throat> to be back doing experiential art together, and um, to just have fun. Okay, I'm going to touch my camera stand. So... I'm so glad you guys were here today. I'm going to take a minute and look at the computer. Gino is seven, Lucas and five is five, and Evan is one. So um, I'm glad you guys were here with us today. I'm glad that I got paint on my hands. We learned about the color wheel. We made color wheels. We learned that colors that are next to each other mix good. And colors that are across from each other look ugly when you mix them because they turn into mud puddles. We learned that yellow and red is orange. Red and blue is purple. Blue and... Wait, which ones did we do? I have to use my, I have to make a color wheel. Blue and yellow makes green. Blue and red makes purple. <laughs> Miss Jen's losing it today. Red and yellow makes orange. And Miss Jen finger paints big messes, but loves it. So I'm glad you guys were here. We're gonna wrap this up and I hope you guys will join me again. I'll probably do another preschool session next Tuesday in the morning. I'm going to shift doing elementary and middle school class into the evening. And then on Thursday evenings, I'm going to do big people crafting. And I can't wait for that. Um, so be watching the Art Center Facebook page and website for more information on these things. I have so much fun doing this with you guys. I can hardly stand it. But I'll tell you this. This class is the most fun I've had since they shut everything down and told me I had to stay at home and couldn't hang out with the people that I love. So <laughs> have a great day. Remember, the Community Arts Center is trying to keep the arts alive. So be kind and God bless. Bye. I'll see you guys next Tuesday.